Hi and welcome on this demo where we will show how to integrate with Google Analytics and Motic, which is a marketing automation platform. Um, we can see we're logged in into the interface of our customer data platform, which is the DropSolid customer data platform. Now, what we also know is that here in our Google Tag Manager, we have a tag called DropSolid Personalization, where we actually added our uh, event capturing tag. This is the same tag as we can see here in the info, uh, which is the capture, which is this. Okay. Now, um, what we want is uh, in Google Analytics, and I'll go to Google Analytics, um, is to add our segments uh, towards Google Analytics into a specific custom dimension. So here we can see we have a custom dimension. And this is uh, Google Analytics 4. And we can see uh, we have a couple of uh, segment or dimensions, um, but we want to send it to the specific one, which is actually here. This is number 4. Everything else is inactive, so it doesn't really matter. We want to send it to number 4. And what we want is then um, ultimately in our report, we can see how many users are actually tied to a specific segment. Great. The same is actually valid in Motic. We also want to send the segment to the users in Motic. Now, how do we do this? We actually go into our settings and we can see we already have features enabled like geolocation and language detection. We actually now can click here and have the add-on and uh, add Google Analytics. Now, the custom uh, dimension that we want to add uh, was number four. Um, so let's add this. And um, what we also are going to do at the same time is the Motic integration. To show you what the Motic integration should do, um, and for that we actually uh, want to go to Motic itself. We have CDP segments and uh, we can see there's two fields on the user profile, which is called personalization segment name and personalization segment user, uh, like unique uh, identification ID, UUID. So let's go back to our uh, configuration. And here we can actually see the same. We need to have the field in Motic where we place the UUID, which is this one. And we need to place the field where we want to actually send the names or the aliases to. That's an effective name from which you can recognize what segment it is. So we're going to add this. Great. We can verify this and we're going to send it to our custom dimension, which is indexed 4. And for the Motic integration, this is the UUID and the name field. Let's save and generate. And now we have to wait a little bit uh, for the script to become active. Now we can see that the add-ons were added successfully. So let's take a look at our website on what's actually going on. If we um, refresh the page, and we will also go into our console, here, inspect, and let's go to the network tab. Um, let's see if it actually sends uh, stuff to Motic. So let's refresh. Um, and we'll actually send a couple of events to Motic. One of them, uh, you can see, is uh, indeed the personalization segment, uh, which is great. Now, let's see what it actually sends to our CDP, or you know me. We did here our Motic identifier, which is 37162. Great. So it did send the right information to our customer data platform. So if we then take a look into Motic and let's see who was active uh, or uh, that I was active uh, in a bit. So let's see. We can see that our segment ID and the segment was actually filled in correctly um, in Motic. And if we go to Google Analytics and we actually go to our custom report that we created, let's see, custom report of the Unomi segments. And let's see 
for the last seven days. Great, we can also see that the segments are available in Google Analytics. So this is how easy it is to enable integrations between our customer data platform and Motic, and also between our customer data platform and Google Analytics.